Hello, my name is William and I'm from Vuzik and we are testing here now the Vuzik station version 8 this is the first beta version we are testing but it's already fully functional and everything works so I already have some showcasing uh, presets <laughs> And we're going to have some new presets coming this week and soon we'll be able to load the older music station presets. I'm still working on this code. But wh what I want to show you is the interface of the music station version 8. We have the layer chainer here instead of uh, the fixed number of layers for the pre previous version. Now you have multiple layers that you can mix and match, like sample player layer, wave sequencer, three oscillators. Let me show the three oscillators. So you have three oscillators, which you can select the kind of oscillators. We also have the super oscillator, which is a super unison oscillator. We also have the drawable oscillator, so you can draw the waveforms you, you want, or you can import from other wave files. And you have also provided, just like with Fusic 8000, we have provided the Adventure Kid collection of waveforms, uh, single cycle waveforms. And then you have for last the audio looper. The audio looper is going to take any audio that you you input to the to the plugin. Let's say I'm using sonar and I have a drum percussion, and I input this drum here. I can play this drum sound. Uh, it's kind of like a granular uh, synthesis, but something different. I uh, have another video showcasing the audio looper so you, you should check that out instead let me reload my solo player here and uh, there's several differences from Vuzik Station version 7 to version 8 and uh, mainly I'm going to talk about the layer chainer because it's different on Vuzik Station version 7 you have a fixed number of, ta of layers and they were all one type so you have os oscillator 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then wave sequencer 1 and 2 and here I can have like uh, 6 wave sequencers or s just 1 wave, wave sequencer and 4 regular oscillators and I can have any kind of uh, types of different layers because I can choose when I add a layer what kind of layer I want the envelopes are multi-line graphical envelopes, the amplitude envelope and also the modulation envelopes and I can have any number of modulation envelopes because I can keep adding is fairly unlimited number of modulation envelopes I can have and also unlimited no number of LFOs that I can have and the LFO is pr pretty much basic LFO but you have the key sync here the fast option so it goes to very high frequencies the sync to the tempo and uh, we have different kinds of LF LFOs in phase but we have also have options that are hidden here so you can already select things like modulation wheel to amount after touch to amount or send to layers vibrato or tremolo so we don't even need to use a modulation matrix here for for this purpose the sequencer here is for modulation thing things it's not an arpeggiator it's a modulation source so the sequencer the after touch the two major learns options are modulation certs, the modulation envelope, the LFO2 
and you also have a arpeggiator and you have a master option which you can have a master arpeggiator that's going to affect all the layers and the same goes for the case key switch and sticky keys and uh, on the master option we have the send one and send two which each layer has the send one and send two options and you can have any number of effects here they all go in serious mode but uh, since each one has a wet and dry you can select if you want to be zero or parallel because it's going to leak the dry signal from the previous effect and you also have insert effect per layer so if I have more than one layer I can have one insert in one layer and on the other layer I'm going to have another insert and I can have multiple inserts show unlimited number of inserts per layer and unlimited number of sends per layer the filters the filters you also have an unlimited number of filters you can add and you have for now at this moment four types of filter and also custom filter which is script files that users can create new types of filters let me show you let's say I want to use a bit crusher as a filter and I also have on some filters uh, the multi filter I don't have but the other filters will have options like frequency kick follow or modulation to frequency that you can already add here directly on the options I have here a filter key track preset and you also have feedback delay let me load here uh, I have one wave sequence here that shows very well this one here so I have a drive each filter has a drive and a separate and hold the feedback and the feedback delay uh, just the custom filter doesn't have that but the others have So you can have very different sounds here and uh, the sample player has a granular option right on it let me load here um, granular morphing so when you activate the granular it is going to use the sample start position modulation to change the grains position and the size of the grain is going to be the the tuning of the note you press so low keys are going to have larger grains and higher keys are going to have, have very tiny grains you can see here that I mean I'm using you can see that I'm using the modulation sequencer this is the modulation sequencer to change the sample start which is on this case the grain position
We also have support on the wave sequencer for four sequences. So they run in parallel on a wave sequencer. And the main difference cut my audio here. The main difference on the wave sequencer on version 8 is that the wave sequencer is like a very advanced arpeggiator because you can select the layer you want to play from the sample player. So here on sample player I have three layers. Each layer is a full sound with multiple zones. It's not, it's not just one wave file. So each layer is actually a set of files is a multi sample sound and I can select which layer is going to be played so on the wave sequence here I'm going to have layer 1, layer 2, layer 3 I can select the volume, the octave, the, the timing and I also have other options I can uh, change I can see four options at, at one time but I can edit all, the, all these options here and they are going to be stored on the preset so uh, even if I can only edit 4 they are all saved and uh, the difference here is this is going to trigger each of the steps is going to trigger that sound and it's going to trigger the amplitude envelope so let me see here if uh, let me I have a very fast envelope here Let me make my wave sequencer faster. So this way I can create much more complex sounds because the wave sequencer now is polyphonic and the other all all other all products and that I know of and was session on version 7 and prior to that is actually a uh, how to explain it is a monophonic two voice wave sequencer <laughs> So it's very different compared to the uh, version 7. And uh, I just give you a rough idea of what has changed. Uh, Music Station version 8 is actually a new product that I did from zero, just reusing some of the Music 8000 code. So it's a cross platform uh, modern code which works on Windows and Mac. 32 and 64 bits and VST AU audio units and uh, AA, AAX for Pro, Pro Tools and VST32 and on the master area you have the master limiter you have also the master tuning uh, and the regular things you would see the interface is very different from Versus 7 but it's very easy to get used to it it just take a, a bit of learning from looking at the tutorials. There are several several tutorials videos that you can watch at youtube.vuzik.com. And some options are on the logo here. Just click on the logo and you can see some options. And there are also layer options. Each layer you can right click on the layer name and you can see that there are options there. So for instance here I have the sample player options. I can fix the pitch of the sample player, disable vibrato if I want. If I'm using an LFO for a global vibrato and this layer I don't want. Uh, this is also very helpful on the three 
oscillators because then you have a right right click here and I have options for each of the three oscillators uh, one very useful option is the unison mode reset phase at sync let me see here regular sound then a unison sound but uh, if I want to reset the phase at sync let me see I have to do this on all of them then you can see the difference I have to save. I have to disable the oscillator free running mode. And those are just some small things you can see on the options. We have a high quality mode for. Uh, almost all options and the high quality mode we're going to have a uh, oversampled mode so it's very uh, intense on, on the computer but has a very good sound and what else can I say here that's pretty much it for now let me play some other sounds here <laughs> wave sequencer here wave sequencer granular get you a good idea uh, it, it already loads off of the previous music session sounds just not the presets yet but I'm working on this so you can see you can load here different sounds <laughs> stuff you can learn from the other videos and this is it for this video thanks for watching